Hey, this is Tyler. This is Carter. You got some booze you want us to try? We're gonna try some booze. Y'all ready for some shit? In your face! Booze Bam. trials! Honk honk. Hey. <laughs> we're doing a Belgian episode? Oh, yeah! Uh, I don't know if Belgians have a specific accent, do they? Dork, dork, dork. Dork, dork. Okay, Kadorka Dorka is going to be the dork, thing, I guess. Dork, 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 dork. Um, so, anyway, um, the two beers we have, we're, they're both from the same people, uh, Trapistis Rockaford. I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing that right. Um, this first one is a 7.5% by volume. It's not. It's 11.2, <clears> not quite a 12. Um, this other one here is an 11.3. It's, it's number 6 and number 10. <gasps> so, uh, I, I don't know. I've never had either one of these. Um, I'm going to guess that he hasn't either. So we're going to give these a try because, uh, yeah, th these are kind of expensive bastards. So I'm hoping Ooh, they're good. How much are they? Um, this one retails at my store, the number six, that's lesser alcohol. It retails at my store for $4.99 plus tax. That's not expensive. Or is it per bottle? That's per bottle. <gasps> yeah. And the 10 here retails at $5.99. Plus tax, which is even more than the Prairie Bomb, which is that first bomb we had in the pilot episode, which we thought was fucking amazing. So I'm not doing the pirate voice. We don't. We don't need to do. I've hurt my throat quite enough with it. I'm not doing it. You do whatever you Save, want. I'm saving that for the rainy days. All right. So, uh, Jesus Christ, dude. Gonna, oh, whatever. I'm not gonna buy a dollar beer, dude. I'm not gonna spill it. They're not. You're going to beat my ass for spilling my own beer? Yeah, dude, because we're recording a Booze Trials episode, motherfucker! Yeah, you know what? I would allow you to beat my own ass because I would beat my own ass. Like, I'd be, like, punching myself in the face and everything if I spilled this because it is kind of expensive. And I've already had to replace one of these because of, well, I won't go too much into it, but fucking Brian! Oh, that Brian. Because of that guy. I had to replace the number 10 once already. Oh, shit. So, I'm going to learn more about this beer. <laughs> I don't know if there's much so to it's learn. So, it's 7.5%, as yep. you said. Yep. It's Roquefort. Not yep. Rochefort, or whatever the fuck you said earlier. Roquefort? Roquefort. It's Roquefort. Roquefort. Okay, whatever. It's the one French word I will pronounce correctly. Belgian Belgium's not French, by the way. Um, Roquefort is French. It's imported by a company in Washington, <laughs> but it's made in Belgium, Belgium. by Abbe St. Remy in uh, Roquefort. Yep. It's got government Roquefort. warnings and all that fun shit. Government so. Warnings. Yeah, the typical shit. You know, don't drink and drive. And we're, we're not driving anywhere. So Wear a helmet worry. and a seatbelt when you drink. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so this one's the lower point. Uh, yeah. The number six. The six. Definitely smells very Belgian-ish. Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of a... This one isn't even the high point one, but it's already kind of darkish, amberish color, if anybody can see that shit. Um, yeah, it's it's bubbly as all get out, and it's dark. Which is good, because Belgian beers usually do come high-pressured. I mean, mm -hmm. that's kind of the ideal way to uh, store a Belgian mm -hmm. beer. Um, one of the sad things about Oklahoma is that in Oklahoma, you cannot get anything higher than 3.2 in a liquor store. And everything Wait, in the liquor store... you can get anything. Well, no, no, I'm sorry. What I meant to say is you cannot... Okay, what, what I meant to say you is... Cannot you cannot get 3.2 beer. Well, here's Anything the, higher than 3.2 cold in Oklahoma. Yeah. So, in other words, we cannot, in our liquor stores in Oklahoma, we cannot have it cold. Mm -hmm. So, these beers True. have been sitting out for God knows how long, warm... Which is not the ideal way to store these beers. Which is why a lot of people in our area don't, don't like Belgians. Not particularly, because the Belgian beers are not stored properly. Whoopsie doops. But that's, you know, it's what we can do. It's the law. No buts me out, the law's the law. You know, this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do this shit. Belgian. I like that. I do too. It's pretty smooth, pretty light, pretty easy to drink. It doesn't have a lingering aftertaste, which I personally like. I don't like beers that have like that aftertaste that like, comes five minutes later. Yeah. After and, you take a drink. And a lot of Belgian beers in particular for me, 
usually they tend to have kind of a sour sort of taste in general. Mm -hmm. Which, this has a little bit of that, but not enough that you'd be like, Oh no, it's not heavy as shit. It's not overly gross, it's not heavy. And some Belgian beers are very fucking heavy when it comes to that sour, yeasty kind of just, what the hell? Kind of and that's if they're heavy. Number six is awesome. I, I'm, I'm digging this. And uh, Brian has kind of been out of the picture on this, so we're going to have to either drink the rest of this now or wait till we're off camera to do it. What's so, I'm kind of, Brian doing? Uh, watching YouTube videos, but that's cool, man. You know, we don't, don't we, we all? We don't, we don't want him to pass out again. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to go into exactly what happened last time, but yeah, we're not going to let him pass out again. We want him to kind of still be okay and cool and not fuck up like he did last time, so... You know, just let him be. Let like him be I cool. said, we now he has the legitimate nickname, fucking Brian. Fucking Brian. Yep. So here's the fucking Brian. And to Belgians beers, they're good. Oh, we're good. And here's the here's the fucking Brian flipping us off. He's snuck around the corner like a like a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good times. Yeah, dude. Um, I'm digging this, man. I don't know. If, I mean, feel free to pitch in. With you know, anything. it's 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 weird because we we like we've been. This is another series of episodes we've recorded, and we're on the tail end of that. Yeah. So we're pretty lit up. Yeah. And which may contribute to partly like maybe this would be way stronger if we hadn't already been drinking shit. Well, even maybe, well, it just it just or, it just hinders the balance of what we probably would like what we would bring as far as an opinion goes. If we went up to the bar and ordered this, like granted, I've that. never, I've never seen this beer at a bar, but me neither. Or if you just like pulled one out of the fridge, like as you got home from work. So, but my thing is, like, I again, I like Belgians. I, I almost say I love them, but there's a, there's kind of a reluctance to say I love them because they're pretty heavy. They're pretty kind, they're, like. They're, yeah, they're, they're thick ass beer. Very many of them are kind of a meal in and of themselves, and yeah. we haven't even gotten to the eleven point three percent alcohol we even... number ten here. This is just the seven point five percent number six. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's not Belgian language, by the way. Bark, bark. That bark, is. bark. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, finish, I'm gonna finish this, and so so I'm gonna get to the. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Cleans, cleansing the palate might help a little bit, so I'm gonna see after I just cleanse my palate with that gin seven up mix. Finish your fucking beer so we can get on with this. Hey, how about, how about you? How about you quit worrying about it for a second there? You know, we're we're, we're cool. We're cool. So we are gonna move on. Mm-hmm. This one is, as I said, you know, we're we're basically going almost an entire four points of alcohol higher Holy in the balls. same size. Don't know what six and ten mean, but we're going from six to ten Ooh. in the recipes. Ooh. Um, so. You alright? I'm good, I'm good. I'm just trying to. There's some tastes that are still lingering. I'll pour them. Let me go for it, dude. So. Ooh, already I'm seeing darkness compared to. It does look a little darker. Yeah. And much darker than the, the six. Hey, hey, hey. No, you, why, why are you gonna give me so much head, man? <laughs> Oops, my bad. I'll fix that. By giving me more head? Shut up, dude. You dick face. Look at that. You. That's mine. There, I'll give you some. At least a little bit of head. Jesus. It's not too much now. I mean, it, it kind of calmed itself down already. I know. I'm not even going to argue. But point is, head is head. and You know we, You know what? That should be on a fucking fortune cookie right there. <laughs> head is head? Because the point is, head is head. <laughs> like a life lesson. And then you learn... Would that, be a, would that be a... Uh, would that be a telling the future fortune cookie? Or would that be a advice fortune cookie? Well, you do we know there's two different kinds of fortune cookies. Well, you do learn the Chinese word for trapeze on the other side, and then you have your lottery the, numbers. The, the lucky numbers, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, all in all, who gives a shit? 
And the head actually died down, so I apologize for giving you shit about giving me head. Cause... It's fucking better. <laughs> this is fucking... Here, hold on, we need to smell this first. It smells Belgian. It smells a little darker. Yeah, it smells a little darker. It smells Belgian to me. I, mean... I, I hate that we're not experts on this, so we're going like, to give people more of a whatever on it. But Who do they want? It's... Fucking Bill Nye the Science Guy? You want Beatman's world? Do they want do Mythbusters to break out of the fucking wall like Kool Aid Man and tell us what we don't know? Because Feel free to do that, by the way. I mean, that'd be awesome. But yeah, we're 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 always welcome to input from our audience because you know we like to get some. But in the meantime, um, this is Belgian. It's Belgian. I'm, I'm right. more because the scent. To me, isn't as distinguishable from the last one. I'm more interested in the taste. As Let's get to the taste. The taste. Mm. Definitely darker in taste. Yeah. This to slightly me slightly heavier too. Yeah, absolutely. To me, this is sort of like. And I hate to use the, the analogy of video games on the show because I don't want to appear like a nerd. But you're dude. Trape- Trapeze Rookford Six is sort of the Super Mario Brothers to Trapeze Rookford Ten, which is Super Mario Three. Hmm. Okay. You got the raccoon tail. You got the Hammer Brother suit. You got all that other fun, crazy shit in this one. You don't yeah, see dude. in the six. Yeah, you almost got more of a um, sort of like yeah. You, there's almost more like fruits that are undetectable <clears throat> at first. That being said, I don't one think one thing I love about Belgian beers is that they don't taste carbonated. Like they almost taste really fucking heavy, but you still see the carbonation you know, in the beer. It's stouty without the stoutiness. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, well, it kind of some because stouts sense. don't have the carbonation either. Well, the stouts really don't have the carbonation. This I one, almost, I almost, I almost had us do a different episode. This, Belgians are almost fruit. They're definitely very whereas, to whereas stouts are more into confection. Yeah, I, I think that's almost yeah, and that's the weird thing about Belgian beers too because like. I can sit here and be like, a little bit of berry, but at the same time, it's like, you got some bread in there, and you Yeah, got very just, bready. Very, it's, it's very complex. Belgian beer, beers are very complex. Any kind of fruit that you see baked into bread, you're probably going to find in a Belgian. Most of the beers that are Belgian are going to be on the pricier side, because it takes longer to really do one. They, they, they crack their shit. No. If you're, if you're, if any of you are a fan of Belgian Shut beers... Shut up. Put it up there for them to see. Okay. Well, this is number six, okay? That's number six. It's, that's the it's seven called point... Trapistas Roquefort. Trapistas Roquefort. Six. That's, that's number six. That's 7.5%. It retails for a little less than the Trapistas Roquefort number 10, which is 11.3% alcohol. Well, now, let me ask you a question. Impressive beers, really. I mean, I, I was very surprised. Like, I really didn't know what to think when I bought them, but, you know, they... They work, man. They they really work. I'm I'm I'm, I'm game. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Are these only available in singles, or do they come in a six pack, four pack? How do you? I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I'm basing this off of just getting these at my store. At my store, these are only available in singles. If okay. they did come, I would imagine if they came in anything but singles, they would come in probably four packs, okay. if that, or. They might come in big bomber bottles, but I don't know because we don't have those at my store. We only have these singles at my store. Okay, so based on what you just said, I'm going to say these are only available on, in, in uh, singles. That's going to be my guess, too. But that's, not, that's, that's a good way to try them. If you yeah. want to try it, that's a good way to do it because, I, think, I mean, why buy a four-pack or a six-pack of something if you're not sure? If you're going to drink, you know? drink a true Belgian beer... You're probably going to only find it in singles or bombers. Either way, it's a single, whether it's a single big or a single little. Right. It's a single. <laughs> You're not. I mean, granted, there is there there are a few out there that are you can get in four packs and six packs, but you know, overall, 
what but he says is the correct. quality is going to differentiate between mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Like your six packs are going to be less quality than your singles. Yeah. Beer knowledge 101. Mm hmm. So, so shall we uh, finish the rest of these off and uh, call it a night? Call it a night. Yeah, dude. We got some of the balls too that we'll finish off camera, but mm-hmm. there you go. Yep. <laughs>